All right then folks, it's piddling down. Just when we got up, a bit late, had a great night last night, and um, heaven's opened here in Pamplona. So Sean's packing, Satnav's trying to um, find us. Are oh, you on your phone there, baby? Yeah. And as you can see, we're trying to put all of our um, waterproofs on because we're going through the mountains, the Pyrenees today, in the rain. Such so law. For the second night in Pampelona, we both woke late. The skies looked grim. There was heavy rain. We were both a little bit hungover. We had a fantastic night last night. We knew we had 300 miles ahead, so we had to hit the road. The sudden storm and black skies, and so we needed to get out of Pampelona and get on our way to Andorra. morning I didn't check it this morning because it was absolutely lashing down in Pamplona when we woke up to be fair we've not been caught in rain at all we've not didn't actually go out in it it was lashing down we said right we'll give it an hour so we're, we're running a bit late today uh, and oversleeping didn't help either I never oversleep I'm just one of those nice absolutely knackered and uh, nodded off and gets on bike face said uh, my remote's not working for drift. I thought, oh, for Christ's sake. So we just pulled over then, as you can see here. Absolutely stunning today. No no straight roads at all, really. It's, just been, it's been like this for the last 80 miles. Absolutely brilliant. Anyway, I digress. So, I said, oh, Christ, I said, we'd do without that. I said, we'll check when we pull over. Uh, I thought, we'll pull over and then we'll check, we'll check what's what. Sorry folks, I was asking about with uh, power source then. Uh, so what's what? So this morning, obviously we've charged the drifts up last night in the hotel, and this morning Faze put the wrong cameras on the wrong helmets, and then give us the wrong remotes as well. 
so couldn't start any of the uh, any of the drifts. No. But we're now hey, we're back on track. Say hello, cock. Hello, cock. <laughs> we're all systems go. She's gone really quiet. I don't know whether the microphone's anywhere near her mouth or not. Mine. Here we go. I'm on top of the mic now. Are we all right? Hang on. I don't think I don't think the intercom's on. Hang on. Oh, we're having issues here, folks. I can't hear her. Are we back on? No, I can't hear you. Anyway, I'll check back. We'll sort this out and we'll check back in with you. See you in a bit. Oh, and I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, folks, the roads have been absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And you know what? If you'd have seen the sky this morning where you'll see off the footage that Phil had there that Faye had before. I was going to say that Phil had. Yeah, the footage, the footage that Faye had. <laughs> uh, you're listening on that. It was uh, it was grim. It was black as a big forks of lightning coming down. I thought, hang on, we're getting soaked to the. It's now it keeps touching 30 degrees. Uh, sun's out, it's gorgeous. This is the straightest this road, as you see it in front now. That's the straightest this road has been for the last 80 miles. It's just bend after bend. It's been absolutely great and quite flowing as well. Not you know not arsy anchor on bends, just nice flowy ones, which we like. Anyway, on our way to Andorra. Running about an hour and 20 minutes late, but there ain't no rushes there. We should still get there about half three, which is uh, adequate. Adequate. That adequate. word again, adequate. Anyway, see, see this road's getting a bit better, or something happens, or whatever. I'll uh, we'll throw you back on. See you a bit. And to the left, the, uh, the start of the Pyrenees, where we will end up in a bit. Bloody warm though, folks. Jesus tonight. Absolutely lovered. Uh, you don't know where to look for it best. Unbelievable. Like Grand Canyon. <laughs> well, 
Well folks, we've just stopped. It's absolutely sweltering, and I mean absolute sweltering. It's it's 35 degrees folks, 35 degrees. Yeah, and it feels like every degree of that, every degree of that. 40 miles from Pamplona, uh, not from Pamplona, oh no. <laughs> 40 miles from Andorra. Uh, yeah, uh, we've, we've stopped here at the services and it's actually got a motorbike museum inside. Muse, Museo de la Moto. We were going to go in, but I think they've a bit of a siesta job there. Bit of a siesta. The roles have been absolutely stunning today. Absolutely stunning. I think we're alright. I think we're alright. I know Faye was actually like, oh god. I said, I said we haven't done 40 miles. <laughs> we thought we'd stop for a, a glass of coke a bit earlier on. Uh, and it must have felt like a lifetime to Faye. Well. <laughs> oh, to be fair, this seat is absolutely roasting. It's ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh, folks, folks. I must have knocked the button. And I said to Faye, I said, Jesus, I'm roasting. I was, I was dripping, absolutely dripping. Looked down, I said, it's a grip thing flashing. Oh, for Christ's sake. <sighs> Come on, Faye, get on, love. I'm fucking lothered. Need to get moving. Although when you're moving, it don't make it much better. Let's get to Andorra. I think we're having two nights in Andorra because we loved it last time. But last time we got there, we got there really late. So I think we're going to make most of it this time, especially our weather's nice. And I think there's a pool in this place at this hotel on our roof, on a rooftop pool, I think. Woo! Oh, it's nice to get a bit of air, even though the air's like a hairdryer blowing into you. Yeah. You've got to keep your visor down to, <laughs> to keep the air out. It's mental. I'll tell you all though, around here, folks. Look at riverbed dried up. I know. Not whether you can pick that up proper folks. You will on mine. That's usually got a load of water in it. But they have had a massive dry spell, haven't they? Yeah. Anyway so folks, we're gonna be touching the Pyrenees soon for getting to Andorra, so we'll uh, we'll get close by and then we'll throw a camera on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Well, folks, it's that pull over then. <laughs> Nearly every battery we've got is flat. Uh, man, I give up completely. Phase has just give up. So, I've just put a gospel battery, I've just had put it in drift now. It's absolutely sweltering, folks. That undo jacket. Took my helmet off, then for change battery, I'll drift. And my helmet's actually wet. It's like soaky wet on the cheeks and that. Ugh. Nasty putting it back on, like. Well, but only what now? About, yeah, about eight miles away from Diggs. Hopefully we'll get straight into them and find them all right. So, as soon as we start going through the border, uh, I'll throw the camera back on folks. Hopefully it's pretty plain sailing folks with a bit of luck. Last time we came through here we got straight through, no, no neither. Although they were stopping loads of cars last time. I think more of it, as you can see over there, they, there's more people getting stopped on the way out. After they've got all the cheap fuel and cheap backer and drinks and Christ knows what. Because it's dirt cheap Andorra, absolutely dirt cheap. Hence why we're going. <laughs> that was for us, aren't we? 
Yeah, we don't mind a bit of that. Let's just get pulled up at this next one here now. When we come out in a few days, uh, we go out the other side, so hopefully it'll be a bit, a bit quieter than this. Uh, as I said to be fair, it's uh, they're checking all people that have filled up with backer and everything. Some roll works at bottom fork, so it's it's diverted us round this way. All good, isn't it? It's all good. Well, it was till the wagon pulled out of a thing in front of us. You know what? Happens to me all the time. This. Um, what's he doing? Pushing it. Honking hotels, knocking about in villages in mountains. Yeah, motorbike shop there, and another one all the way up. Jesus. Another one. Hopefully the phone will take us straight there. I can see it on the phone where it is, like. Another bike shop down here is a shop. These lights are taking piss, aren't they? No, it's all seven, it's counting now, 76, 75. Coming up in a second, this all second. See the the virtue where they are with each other. You know where they're sat, both sat navs. They've both got them linked at the same place. See, I know, I know. I seems when they work, but they can't park. I bet that's the thingy for it. So let's get over thing. Eh? Hotel Pyrenees, you know, just let this thing get past so I can get there. Yeah, you come off. Hang on. 
Well, folks, not quite the uh, scenic riding I was expecting, but we're here anyway. Hotel Pyrenees, see you somewhere. I think it's that one above us. No idea where the car park is, what fare's going to go on, sort of things now. I'll well, speak to you in a bit. Folks, they're just setting a live band up uh, for tonight. We are in the. Uh, no idea where we are. We're in Andorra. That's where we are. That's why I do this. Yeah, we're in Andorra, folks. And I think I've got the biggest. Yeah. Yeah, 315 miles today, 35 degrees. It's been an hard one today. Absolutely sweltering. I booked great roads. It's been about nearly eight hours on road. Nearly eight hours on road. Yeah, when you when you're that hot and you're just sweating, but anyway, folks, for now, it's beer time. 